Throughout the pandemic, work has been getting done behind the scenes at the Albuquerque Biopark. That includes upgrades, renovations, and expanded exhibits. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live with a look. Now, Kim, in 2016, a voter approved one eighth cent gross receipts tax went into effect. City officials say they're thankful for that funding, which is allowing them to make improvements at the biopark. In short, uh, the GRT provides 255 million over 15 years. And right now we've spent or encumbered about 17.4 million. And that's roughly on par with how long it's been in place. The biggest changes we could soon see a brand new Asia exhibit, which will include a new observation deck to watch trainers work with the elephants. The $28 million project will also include new habitats for some of the animals. Another $20 million will be used for a brand new Australia exhibit, which will include kangaroos and a crocodile. And while the biopark was closed for much of the last year, they say they completed a lot of projects that were much needed, like new sidewalks new pools for animals and improved water utilities to prepare for the new exhibits. So lots of little things like that that may sound like things you wouldn't notice, but please do know that our staff and our animals and our plants know the difference. Completed projects also include new training walls for zebras and their caretakers so they can work together. And outside the zoo, Heritage Farm is getting a new agricultural program that will showcase New Mexico's farming history. And a new train connecting parts of the biopark is in progress. And the biopark, like we said, has been busy, but also with attendance. Now, it says it's seeing about 92% attendance compared to its 2019 numbers. And the mayor said that that main entrance to the biopark is in the process of being redesigned to accommodate higher volume of guests. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Annalisa. Now, the Biopark says it is breaking ground on the new exhibits this year. It also says it is revisiting reopening plans for the aquarium since the governor's announcement yesterday, but they do not have a set open date.